Hello and salutations, Boomer writes. I am back. Hope you guys didn't miss me too much or get too impatient or angry, but I am back. Uh, I'm coming back with a peep show. I wasn't actually going to post any videos today uh, after the long weekend that I had with family, but I felt like I should do one before I get into others. Um, tomorrow and the next day, you might see a lot of uploads because uh, I'm going to try to play some catch up. Uh, but right now, got a, uh, a messy house after having all my siblings in the house at the same time, which is rare. And it's why I focused on family. Um, I think I mentioned it before, but just to give you a little inside information about me. Uh, I have three siblings, two sisters and a brother. And we all live in different states in the U.S., which is a big uh, red, white, and blue Muppet country. So it's very rare that all of us are in the same place at the same time. And uh, it was a lot of fun having them. I miss them immensely and to have them all in the same spot at the same time. It was a beautiful thing. And we got a little wild, not gonna lie. So uh, you might see me be a little tired in this video, but it's it's a tired that feels good. It, it, it really does. So uh, thank you guys for sticking with me through this and uh, it's time to get back to work. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to drop a peep show. And then tomorrow, the next day, and all throughout the rest of the week. And in the next week, you're going to see uploads left and right. Um, you might even see a... You're probably... Actually, I guarantee it. You're going to see a Top Gear special soon. Um, I'm going to do that for Chris. So shout out, for, shout out to Chris. He picked another one for me. That's coming. Uh, you might even see two or three movie reactions. Um, the YouTube channel will be a little slow for the next week or two because I got to play catch up in getting the movie reactions edited and put up on YouTube. So that might be a little slow over there. But here on the Patreon, you're going to see uplo uploads left and right for the next few days. So I hope you guys are excited for that. It's time to get back to work. And enough of this intro video. I just wanted to wish everyone had a good weekend because I certainly did it was a very beautiful weekend one of the best weekends I've had in my life so back to work I'll see you guys in the in this peep show reaction be on the lookout for more reactions this week all right let's do it who is this ghastly man your one and only favorite Muppet <laughs> Hope everybody's ready for some more peep to peep Now, before we get into the video, uh, there's been like two reactions where I've noticed that people said the sound is uh, either coming out of, it's very low, or, or they can't hear the sound of the show at all. I don't know what's going on. Um, on my end, I watch Peep Show on YouTube. Um, sometimes it's different people that upload the episodes. So sometimes the audio might be different for each upload that these uh, different people have uploaded the episodes on. I don't know what's going on, but when I mix it on my end, I try to make it so the sounds... All right. Uh, I saw some people notice that it's really bad if you only have one earphone in. So maybe I should recommend putting both earphones in. I'm not sure, but uh, I I'm looking very carefully into how I mix the peep show reaction. So if the sound is still uh, weird or it's not existent in some parts, um, I apologize. But uh, I guess that's all I can say about it. I'm trying. But enough wine and let's uh, get into peep show reaction. This is Spin War uh, from Season 5, Episode 2. And um, last episode was good. So I'm hoping that the season five continues to play out pretty strong, but we'll see where it takes us. Lord knows what uh, Jez and Mark are going to be up to because they're two wonderful Muppets. That's for sure. So remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and I'll see you guys in there. Okay, here we go, folks. Peep it a peep. You know, Jez, I've started to get this feeling that I'm 
totally, totally fucked. You know, everything's fucked. I, I fucked my wedding, I fucked up my only ever relationship. Everything's just completely fucked. You have been feeling this for a while. But now I'm starting to think that maybe that's a good thing, because now I can get on and do everything I've always wanted to do. Join Mensa, learn the clarinet. I could be a scout leader. Mm-hmm. What are you smiling for? Look, scouting is a noble tradition. You do not have to be a pedo to want to work with children, all right? That probably helps. Oh, God, that is so... I spent... <laughs> <coughs> oh, he was thinking about that the whole time. Five happy years oh. in the scout and never once did... You told me Kinky Layton was all over you. Yeah, all right, Layton was a bit of a pedo, but not in a bad way, just... Boosting you over the climbing wall, making you run round the camp in your pants. It was old-style pedoing, before it got such a bad name. What does that mean? Of course, Leighton only really had eyes for Duncan Carpenter, the doe-eyed little flirt. <laughs> Who's this? And Sophie's dad. Oh, you angry, tweedy father. This is a chain-on scenario. Hello? Hi, Jeremy. It's, it's Barney. I'm Sophie's cousin, remember? From the wedding? Not really. We went to the car park and we smoked that dope that I bought that turned out not to be dope. Oh, right. Hi. We've just dropped Sophie off, actually. She's going back to work tomorrow. Is this going to take long? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they just wanted me to deliver this to Mark. It's just the tuna from the wedding. It's Mark's half. Come on, Barney, don't say. Anyway, I remembered that you were in a band. And basically, I've been doing a little bit of my own music. Maybe you could take a listen and tell me what you think. OK, well, thanks. Good to see you, Barney. Thanks, Jeremy! Hmm, why toast when you can roast? Enough. Why toast when you can roast? Which makes me think that we're going to see Sophie more. Uh, I remember some people saying that, uh, you know, that's, that's it for Sophie. Maybe some... Uh, people stopped watching after season four. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I've I've heard that Sophie no longer shows up, but her dad and cousin are in there. So it's making me think that Sophie's going to turn back up. Oh, the roast! That's the third today. What's well, nicer than a roast? Yeah, but chain eating roast. Who is that? Sophie's dad and her cousin Barney. Barney. It's the wedding tuna, your half. Oh, what? Really? Heartbreak tuna? Oh, no, Jez, just bin it. I mean, not literally. There's no need to be overly dramatic. Freeze it. See how I feel in six months. So, they came all this way just for the tuna. They were dropping Sophie off. She's going back to work tomorrow, so... Sophie's going back to work? But that's outside the terms of the treaty. Six weeks, six weeks till we go back. This isn't six weeks. This is three. Shit. I've got to get in there to stop her lies. What lies? That I jilted her at the altar. Right, technically. I mean, I'm on your side, but technically, that's not a lie. I did not jilt her. Technically, I married her. Well, maybe, but I think what sticks in everyone's memory is the bit where you jilted her. Oh, shit, if you think that, what's everyone else going to think? Oh, God, I've got to get in there. If she wants a PR war, she can have a PR war. I'll Mandelson her. Nobody wanted new Labour, Jeremy, but now we all know how it works. He's a fucking Walking into the thing. jaws of death. Got to go past Sophie's desk. What am I going to say? Please save me, Jesus. I'll believe in you if you save me now. The See, other there way. she is. She's looking the other way. You guys lied to me. You lied to me. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh... I honestly thought that after that, that was the last we would see of uh, Olivia Coleman as uh, Soph. But uh, it's good to see her. But I imagine that her character is going to be crazier than ever. Because she started... I love how she starts out in the first season normal. And then gradually, after hanging out with these two clowns, gradually gets crazier and crazier. So Lord knows what she's going to be like now. Way! Thank you, Jesus! Although it was 50-50 which way she'd be looking. Might need a bit more to start believing. Oh, the gossip mill. That's right, stare at Hess. Throw fruit at Hess, pacing his prison yard. Mmm, piggin' tea break. Cup of piggin' tea and work out my piggin' campaign strategy. 
Oh, knickers. Here we go, Lisa. She's not saying anything. Brilliant. Good old English reserve. Um, Mark, I, I just want to say about the wedding and everything that I think you're a real piece of shit. <laughs> oh, well, OK. That's fair. <coughs> Lisa is a very fair person. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, gets insulted. She's a very fair person. That was funny. Hey! What do you think? This is Raw. Who is this? Is this us? It's a simple shit muncher. Sophie's cousin. Shit, he's done something there, hasn't he? How'd you do that? I think that what's happening is two or maybe three different musical things all at the same time. This is the kind of thing we should be doing. Complicated shit. Only thing is, doing complicated shit like this, wouldn't that be against the Big Beat Manifesto? Have you read the Big Beat Manifesto lately? Did we write it down? The Big Beat Manifesto goes, Big Beats are the best, get high all the time. Right. At the time, it felt like a much more all-encompassing philosophy. Can we have this? Can we use it? Well, listening to this, it did make me think, lately, I've been having some ideas, and this is exactly the sort of thing that I was thinking of doing. He's nicked your idea? Well, has he? That's what I'm wondering. Nicked my idea and then done it back to me. I reckon we should invite him down. I think we could teach this kid a thing or two. Until he arrives, should we send this out to promoters? Yeah. I think this is probably the best example of the sort of stuff we do we've ever had. Oh, yeah, because sometimes it's really hard actually to do your own ideas. <laughs> OK, grab your nuts, Corrigan. First contact. There she is, Sophie. Should I go over, forget the spin wall, apologise, stab myself with a fork? They only have plastic. Oh, crying. Yes, nice. That's going to play very well with the floating voters. I'm like, he's getting closer to her, and even I'm cringing, like, ooh, what, ugh, ugh. Nice tears, Goebbels. Her and her <laughs> mates will probably start handing out vicious cartoons of me as a rodent in a big top hat, and everyone will think it's hilarious, until a mob comes round and smashes my shop window. At least I've got off the roast wagon. Oh, God, there she goes. This is a public relations nightmare. Where do I sit? This must be what it's like being a nonce in prison. Uh, uh, hello, is, is it OK if I go here? I'll, I'll tell you one thing. It, it, on a serious note, if you are in a relationship, and this has happened to me before, if you're in a relationship with someone and it doesn't end well <clears throat> and you still have to... Uh, and you work with the person... Um, and you still have to see them every day. It, it is awkward. It is fucking awkward as hell. And it's just... You do everything in your head to just be like, alright, just get get the day through. Get the day through. Get the day through. So, it kind of reminds... I don't know if any of y'all have ever been through something like that. You probably have. Because a lot of relationships form at work all the time. But, um... It is fucking awkward. It is really awkward and uncomfortable, and it's like, I usually don't feel sympathetic towards Mark or Jeremy, but in this case, I kind of do feel sympathetic towards Mark, because it is, uh, unless you get a different job or move, um, you're going to have to see that person every single day, and it's weird. Please don't call me a piece of shit. Sure, whatever. I'm Debbie, but everyone calls me Dobby. Are you new? I, I don't think I've seen you here before, have I? I'm the IT misfit, the man with no name. I'm in and out, Kettering, Croydon, Aberdeen. Oh, right. Uh, I'm Mark, but you've probably heard of me under some other horrible abusive name. Hey, why? Oh, no, just everyone abuses everyone now, don't they? Fuck off. Fuck off, you wanker. It's supposed to be funny, but, but of course it's not. One of my favourite terms. Wow, you, you carry... Personal cheese. Is that allowed? I'm a smoker. I need man cheddar, you know? Right. If you like, you could... If I was seen sharing cheese with a woman, it could be misinterpreted. My approval rating would drop through the floor. 
Plus, looks like she might gnaw on it. I'm, I'm fine. I, I think if I ate anything with any flavour in this room, my body would probably <coughs> spasm due to shock. Right. <laughs> oh, by the way, is, is it possible to easily put a block on a couple of email addresses? Why, what have you been getting? Oh, nothing, just some crap. You're a piece of shit, shitter. Stuff your bollocks up your gob. It's just mates and that. Fuck off and shut up and die. Yeah, they're, they're pretty funny. Damn. Assholes. OK. Jeff, Lisa, Paul, their emails are going to junk. You can check them if you want. Plus, I've put an auto-reply offering them to come and sit on your hairy dick. Joke. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's a good joke. She's nice. She's being nice. I'm pathetically grateful. Maybe I should ask her out for a drink. She, she is a floating voter, plus she's weirdly attractive. No, don't go there, Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> he always has these uh, political references that are fucking wild and funny. Oh, wow, this is your room. This is so cool. I think I found someone to do my hoovering. These are your jeans. Hoovering, there it is, is again. What does hoovering mean? I only saw one person that got it right before. Hopefully somebody can get it right this time around. Uh, more of you. Your jeans. Look, Jamie, right? This is what I'd look like wearing your jeans. Hi, I'm Jeremy. I've got loads of girlfriends and hash. Look at my jeans. Yeah, that is a bit like me. Here we go. Just typed up a little contract on Professor Yaffle's computer. A contract? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a uh, standard procedure for a new band member. Right. Um, maybe I should just show that to my dad's solicitor. No, yeah. no, no. Sign it, and then we can talk about it later. Before you sign it, it's all a lot of waffle. Hey, uh, Barney. Is it? What, what are you doing here? What's going on? It's cool. Barney's just staying over for a bit. He's joined the band. What? Um, actually, these guys were just saying they wouldn't mind some cheese McCoys. Do you want me to get you anything from the shop? Uh, no, I think I'm fine, actually. <laughs> While you're down there, how about some Ribena and a twirl? OK, uh, McCoys, Ribena and twirl. I'll go grab my jacket. Jeremy, he's Sophie's cousin, for God's sake. You're sleeping with the enemy. Oh, relax, Mark. It's fine. Mark, they want me to sign this contract. What do you think? Should I sign it? Not even sure where you'd sign it. Is that meant to be a dotted <laughs> line? Who <laughs> drew this up? <coughs> None of these aren't proper sentences. It's legalese. All right, keep your beak out. Look, Mark, we heard today we've got a spot at the fuck bunker. The fuck bunker? Yes. And we've got an A&R man coming, so we need to have a contract. Everything nice and tied down, yeah? Right, fine. I don't give a shit. Looks good to me, Barney. Go for it, dude. Cool. Uh, McCoy's Ribena and a twirl. McCoy's Ribena and a twirl. McCoy's Ribena and a twirl. He's not sucking you off, is he? No, of course <laughs> he isn't. <laughs> oh. oh, God. What a question. What a question. And... Considering Jeremy's past, might be a valid one. Probably would. Ooh, calm down. He's not sucking you off, is he? No, of course he isn't. Probably would. <laughs> you have to be very careful asking someone to get you a twirl who would also suck you off. Still, blowjob and a twirl. And the... Got the nod. The mark of the human. I'm a human, you're a human. What else is there to say? Hi, Mark. Nice to see you. Dobby. Likewise. There's meant to be a bunch of USB sticks Her name's sticks what? Here, Dobby? But... Dobby! God, there's an atmosphere. Sexual tension? Or just misfits scared of sexual tension? Who are? Oh, no. This is a disciplinary hearing waiting to happen. Oh, I can't reach. Could you... Uh... Yeah, sure. Um, uh, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll have to move. Yeah, I should. <laughs> Good move, but I might 
not move. Is she shifting her bum against my area? Uh, are, you, are you sure you, you don't want to get out of the way? I'm all right. What if someone comes in? Should step away. Step away from the bum. <laughs> it's impolite to step away. I don't want to step away. I've got some better today. Step away from the bum now! Oh, feta. That's, that's a sheep's cheese, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah I believe so. <clears throat> or, or goats. This is possibly the most exciting thing that has happened to anyone ever. Does she know what she's doing? Is she just innocently waggling her bum around and I'm getting illegal benefit? I'm not doing a sexual assault, am I? You can't do a sexual assault if you stay still like a statue. I'm just a statue, a dirty, filthy statue. Oh, God, I'm getting very... Captain Corrigan is flying without a license. Oh, Jesus, it's too much. I'm going to blow my beans. I'm going to do a Jezel Beach. Don't let her know. Uh, 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 Are you OK? I'm fine. Uh, but sorry, I should be going because uh, you know the, the world turns on its axis one man works while, while another relaxes ah post it bye oh my god uh, did she notice should have stayed for at least a snog but for oh some my, reason, my god. interest level just <laughs> Wow. Drop straight off. Oh my god, god dude. Down there. It's gonna start chafing. Need to clean up. Need to get out. Shit. Elaine and Michael. They'll probably want to talk quarterly sales. Fire exit. Could bust out here and out into the car park. Fuck. Hey, hey. it's the wedding crasher. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> you two. Oh, she's smoking a joint with her ex. Oh, it is her. We newlyweds remorselessly working our way through the lover's guide. Hi, Soph. How are you? How are you feeling? Well, I want to give things another go. You do? No, of course I fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Season five is, is starting out good. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that was funny, then. Yeah, we should talk about divorce options at some point. Yeah, but... Maybe not while I'm in spermy pants and you're high. Here. Whatever, Mark. Run away again. I'm having a laugh. <laughs> so don't really give a toss. What are you doing out here anyway, Mark? And what's that in your trousers? Uh-oh. Oh, God, it's uh -oh. seeping through. Have you... pissed yourself? I'm getting sick. I'm coughing a lot. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I did a little bit of wee on myself, so. Uh. <laughs> you twat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they can laugh, but I win because they think I pissed myself. They've no clue I came all in my pants. Like, that, that's a new one. I gotta, I gotta remember that. Um, it, it, the, I think it would have been a better opportunity to tell them the truth, especially with those two in that situation, don't you? I mean, it'd be like, yeah, I just I got rubbed off in the uh, in the closet. You'll have to guess who. I don't know, but I feel like that would have been a better option in that situation. Anything? Can I have a sandwich? Oh, dude, what? Come on, we need more tracks for the gig. Good ones. I know, but it's sort of hard to be creative in that when you're really hungry. How long can it take to come up with three minutes of music? Six minutes, max. That's being generous. That's two minutes per minute. Can I have an <laughs> apple? Do you think we're made of apples? All right, we'll let you have a poppadom. You can have one poppadom and a bit of chutney. Cool, thanks. I'm so generous. I'm like a techno Gandhi. Speaking about what Mark said the other day about Barney. 
bet you would, wouldn't you? What? Suck one of us off. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I wouldn't. What if we said you couldn't be in the band unless you sucked one of us off? No, no, I wouldn't. You had to think twice, though, didn't you? <laughs> no, I didn't, I, honestly. Which one of us, then? You had to pick one of us. Which one would you pick? Go on. If you had to. Oh, I, OK, yeah. I guess, and if I had to pick, it would be Superhands. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would. It wouldn't. <laughs> You'd suck Superhands off. That is so funny. Screw them. I'll just keep trying to suck myself off. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> you fucking maniac! Dobby, my cupboard lover, stationary sex queen. Dobby! I can't ask her out, I'll be dead in the PR water. Oh, don't think about it. Just drink buckets of tea. Pig in tea break? Oops, Butterfingers, your clumsy wife. She has gone beyond now. That is too much. That is way over the line. Maybe I'll stick it back to Harpend and Harpend and Harpend and see how she likes that. No, can't we leave the mugs out of it? Even the mob never hit the families. Hey! hey! My man! My favourite character in the show. I love it. Alan makes an appearance. I do hope they eventually get like a whole him in like an entire episode. But uh, I fucking love this guy. No, can't we leave the mugs out of it? Even the mob never hit the families. So it's true. I heard about the rumors, but I couldn't believe it. I'm so sorry about your mug, Mug. And so you know Sophie's behavior has become unacceptable. I've instructed her to take a break. She's going to spend some time with her parents in the country. Right. Wow. Okay. Oh my god, this is piggin' massive. I've won the spin war. Would you like to? Smash it. Uh, thank you, but no. Very well. I can't believe I let this happen on my watch. Right, Dobby, who cares what people think? <laughs> back, baby, the bitch is back. Oh. Hey, Dobbs. I just wondered if you fancy coming down with me to the fuck bunker and... Is that what you call the stationary cupboard? No, God, no. No, no, it's, it, it's a venue. Uh, my mate's playing a gig down there on Friday. I just thought it might be cool to swing by there and check it out. Your mate's playing a gig. Check it out. Mark, you're not trying to get away with pretending you're a normal human being, are you? She's the one. Oh, Dobby, let me chew on your weird hair. If the A&R guy's here, Wait, fuck off. which one could he fuck be? Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> Let me chew on your hair. Just when you think Peep Show hasn't given you enough weird uh, material to soak into your brain, there's another one. Could be him. Perfect cover. Or her. Or her. A lot of women here. Hmm. <laughs> women. There they are, walking around. And they've all got them under their clothes, hiding there. But I know the secret. Is he Vaginas. censoring himself? She's got one. She's got one. She's got one. She's definitely got one. She's trying to make out she hasn't got one, but I know she has. Got to stop thinking about vaginas. It's my big night. Mmm, vaginas. Come on, open up for fuck's sake, it's gig time. What's going on? Barney's only locked himself in a bloody bog. What have you done to him? Nothing. Jesus. He's a fucker! Has he been sucking you off? No, of course not. Yes. Or maybe once. What the fuck are we gonna do? We don't know how to play <laughs> his our music. We're the front men. I was planning on just waving a maraca and giving the hotties my sex eyes. Why the hell did you get him to suck you off? Well, I don't know, do I? I was just bored. It's rock and roll. We're backstage. Someone's got to suck someone off. Iggy, Bowie, Lou Reed, Tupac. They're all sucking each other off. <laughs> You're Tupac. on. Tupac. Shit, we're on. <laughs> Tupac shaker. What? What are we going to do? Barney? Barney, come on out, mate. Please. You go out and keep the crowd happy. I'll sort Barney out. All right. All right. But just don't... Don't suck him off. All right? And don't make him suck you off. Just get him out there without any more sucking off. Oh, I love that that has to be a ground Two one. bowls of premium lager and two double whiskies, please. Don't keep the change. Ah, uh, good old alcohol. 
facilitates the talking of shite. Long term, there's depression, lethargy, and addiction. But who's looking to the long term? Hey, everyone. So, great. Um, we're almost ready. But um, before we rock you, um, we need to find out, um, are you ready? Yeah. yeah! OK. But are you really, are you really, really, really ready? Great, you're really, you're ready, so, yeah, yeah, so you're ready to party. Okay, we know that now, but my next what question is... What is he saying? Is, are you ready to party hard right here, right now? He's just talking words out of his mouth. Mega. <coughs> just like you, Mark. Wow, the ladies. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Just when I thought, all right, the, no more wild stuff. Here it comes. Here it comes. See, it's almost as disgusting as the gents. Yeah, well, it used to be all pink and tidy, but then feminism happened and we all just started pissing on the floor. <laughs> of course. Girl power. <laughs> wow. This is better than watching Jeremy dying on stage. She really seems to have a thing about confined spaces. Just hope I don't go off in my pants again. <laughs> What's that? It's a nightclub. It's, it's normal. She's probably on drugs. She's probably having the time of her life. Oh, God. I know that boot. I know that foot. I know that crying sound. Mark, I really think we should... Is that Sophie? Is that Sophie? Here's the other thing. I, I don't know about you guys, but I never understood doing something like this in a public bathroom. You know, like your own private bathroom at your uh, house or apartment or whatever the fuck. That, fine. But uh, public bathroom, I've never understood why you would do a sexual act in, in that gross area. I, it just never, it never even crossed my mind like that would be a good place to do that. You know, maybe I'm alone in this. I don't know. Am, am I am I a freak because I wouldn't do something like that? Uh, not saying I'm above people who do it, but it just seems <coughs> like a gross place to do something like that. I don't know. But uh, let's see if this is Sophie's foot. You check on her. She might have passed out. No, Dobby. Hold on. No, Dobby. It is. Mark. Hi, Sophie. You know her? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm his wife. She doesn't know what she's saying. She's off her head on street drugs. What have you taken, Sophie? Who knows? Who the fuck cares? Oh my what are you God. even doing here? I, I thought you were staying with your parents. I ran away from home to see Barney, thanks, dickhead. So, please. She's crazier well, than a, ever, a, a yeah. Bit married, but, but not properly. It, it was never consummated. And you're not going to get in Nana's cottage, you know, so you can shove it out of your arsehole! OK, I'm going to head off. But, Dobby, I... I've been caught out, like Angus Dayton or Harold Shipman. You look... like a life support machine, Mark. Well, thank you, Sophie. So instead of giving life, you suck it all out of people! Uh-huh. My beautiful wife. I want to go home. 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 Just another reminder, though, that Olivia Coleman is a tremendous actress. I want to go home. <coughs> I want to go home. I want to go home. What's going on? He wants to go home. I'll take care of him now. Thank you very much. All right, Granddad. Hold on. Can't he give us ten? He's in a cuddy hole right now, but in ten the speed will kick in. A can of Coke and a ciggy, he'll be right as rain. Oh, I don't want to sit down. I want to run behind the car all the way home. Yeah, well, we've missed our slot. Dance witch abortion are on now, and they're rocking out. Ah, Mark, of course. I'm so sorry about all this. Ian? Ian? He is Ian, isn't he? Suppose now I've jilted his daughter, I could call him Captain Cockring, and it wouldn't make things any worse. <laughs> Superhands. That's a good name. Did I do it right, Superhands? Yeah, yeah. Mm. You did it fine. What did you do to him? You've ruined this. Why couldn't you have got him to suck you off after the gig? He did what? <laughs> Barney? <laughs> What makes you do these things, Mark? I'm not the one he sucked off. I hate you, Mark. I fucking hate you. Superman! Damn. I love you. Don't leave me. He's not all he's cracked up to be. Who's the really cool one? 
You should look a bit deeper before you go sucking someone off next time. Okay, what now? Go home and roast the shit out of some meat. Wow. Peep show. Wow. Staying crazy, wild, and unbelievable. <coughs> Great show, though, man. Great show. Uh, <coughs> Sophie, Olivia Coleman. Um, turns out she's back, and it looks like she might be around for a few more episodes, at least. Um, but just that bathroom scene alone, I think it really shows her range and how tremendous of an actress she can be. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I caught something from my family this weekend. But, uh... <laughs> and the, that poor kid. That poor kid. You, <laughs> super Hans. Super Hans. However you say it. And, uh... It's just... Wow. Uh, but I do want to see more from Mark. Notice how excited I got when Mark showed up. He, I think he's the best character in the show. Um... But, you know what was weird about this episode? I think uh, Jez, Jeremy, was actually a little reserved for once in his uh, character. He seemed like, there were times where he seemed like the, uh, a good guy, which is very rare. But, I mean, not a complete good guy. There were just like little, you know, sprinkles of moments where he was, he seemed like he was being kind of a good guy but uh i know that's not gonna last and he's much worse than mark in my opinion so it's gonna be interesting but the dynamic between mark and sophie is gonna be interesting to see throughout the season because uh i think we're gonna see more of sophie but how's that gonna work at work you know which you know i told you earlier in the episode if you've been in a relationship and you and it's over and you still have to work with that person or see them every day at work or school or whatever it is it's fucking awkward it's awkward as hell but all in all good episode i'm excited to see what the rest of season five has in store for us so remember to like subscribe do whatever you guys want and uh you can always check out the original shows on your own i uh, usually always uh post the original video link in the description below this video if you want to check out these shows on your own so y'all have a lovely day stay safe and I'll see you next time. Peep-a-de-peep. Peace out, Boomerites.